Uh, damn. The Fallen State Funny Moments, Jesse Lee Peterson on feminism. Let's go. But, but, well, but how would you define your definition of the type of feminist you are? Is there a, def is there a meaning to it, a definition? For me, you know, maybe, and again, maybe it's feminism, maybe it isn't. But I, I like to think that as human beings, we can support each Quickly, other. Quickly, Ross, does this happen to you as well? Like, uh, when a woman shows feminism tendencies, uh, my dick goes like this. No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Again, maybe it's feminism, maybe it isn't. But I, I like to think that as human beings, we can support each other. And that re regardless of your gender, you can go into the workplace and you can deliver value for your business and possibly the world. You can you can do things that change the world that way. And I don't think that you should be told you can just because yeah, of your gender. <laughs> the funniest right. part is how... The funny part is how serious it looks like he's feeling their car. It's like he's it looks like he's like, mm, yeah. Right? That's the best yeah. part. He's and he's, so stoic. His eyes are so red too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> this, like, this nigga's like 69, 70 years old. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. I think that you should be told you can't just because of your gender. I think that that's the message that I'm at where I'm at with it. Oh, I see. And if a man was married, a man and a woman married and they have children together, should the man oh, allow his wife to go out and work? What? Or what? Okay. Should she make him stay, should he make her stay home and raise his children while he's away? I think it's a, because it's a marriage part, you know, that's a, that's a commitment they've made to each other and they've made a commitment to their family. Right. So it's definitely a decision that they should make together. I, I don't think it should be the man's decision or the woman's decision. I think as a family, they would make that decision together. But suppose the woman want to, and the man say, no, you got to stay home and raise my children. Should she obey him and stay home? Again, I think it's up to them because in, in any in any marriage, they'll be give and take. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be, yep, I want to go out with my friends today. So therefore, someone needs to look after the kids. I, I think the same, it, it would apply in so many different areas. The, the key thing about marriage is compromise. <laughs> But should the woman obey her husband? Should the man obey his wife? No. <laughs> Why is that? Because every time the man listens to the woman, he suffers. But when the woman listens to the man, she gets better in life. Is that always true? Well, sometimes you have weak men that are afraid of women. It's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yes, yes. He got a point. Weak men that are afraid of their woman is a bad man. It's a bad man. <laughs> You're muted, right? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna let it finish. Uh, here, okay, 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 okay. Is that always true? Well, sometimes you have weak men that are afraid of women. It's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> but every, even a, a weak man, but every time a man listens to the woman, he suffers. It's just I don't, it's a spiritual I don't know rule. About I don't know about that. I'm yeah. pretty sure there's lots of men in the world who've listened to their mothers oh, and that's have grown into great men. That's why they're suffering and listen to mama. <laughs> As a man, you shouldn't even listen to your mama or you will suffer. <laughs> Isn't that true? Oh, you're going to make mamas of the world cry. Isn't that true? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 would you say that? That a fool. Would you say that's because the mama or, you know, the female, uh, what would you say? uh prioritizes the child uh, to not hurt the child's uh, uh, uh feelings over anything else like like a, a father can say shut up you need to do this or you, you know and that might hurt your feelings but that might actually be more beneficial for you to hear that and then you know do a change in your uh, life I I agree with that part. Yeah, I agree with that part. I don't necessarily agree that you should never listen, but you know how I feel. It's like it's not gender based. I don't think that you should care about what anybody thinks. Yeah, but I, I, what I'm saying is, women, women tend to be more emotional. Like they don't want to hurt their kids' feelings. Yeah, we we we're in agreement on that. We're in agreement. Yeah, and the father is like, "Fuck the feelings. You need to hear this, otherwise you will be suffering in the future." Anyways. Yeah. Make mamas of the world cry. <laughs> <laughs> Are men and women equal? Oh, I gotta go back to the question. So, 
should the woman obey her husband? If her husband said the building is on fire, you need to leave right now, then yes. <laughs> should the woman obey her husband, even if it's not an extreme situation? It all depends on the context. It, it would need to be specific examples. Um, the word obey, I think, is quite, um, it, it's got it's got something behind it. I can't think of the word that I'm, I'm looking for right now. But it's, um, it, it makes you think, obey, does that mean I'm your slave? Yes. And yeah, I don't, I don't think wives are slaves to husbands. Why I don't not? think they should be. No, but they were made for to be the slave to the, to the husband. She is a slave. That means that she watches over his children. She keeps the house <laughs> running for his pay the bill by the groceries, keep it clean, and do what the man say do. Otherwise, the marriage is not going to work. I mean, if you hear Sheryl Sandberg talk about this, <laughs> she she talks about how time, she time, won't rest time. until just, women. Yeah, just to go back just a little bit. I just I love the way he says, "Yeah, she is a slave." <laughs> <laughs> yes, and yeah, well, I, I do not think Jesse's hilarious. Yeah, he can be very I hilarious. Find it. I can't think of the word I'm looking for right now, but it's um. It, it makes you think, obey, does that mean I'm your slave? Yes. And yeah, I don't I don't think wives are slaves to husbands. Why I don't not? think they should be. No, but they were made for to be the slave to the to the husband. She is a slave. That means that she watches over his children, she keeps the house running as for his paying the bill, buy the groceries, keep it clean, and do what the man say do. Otherwise the marriage oh is not gonna God. work. I mean, if you hear Sheryl Sandberg talk about this, she she talks about how she won't rest until women are running, you know, and being, you know, half of the boardrooms. Half. But of the, the way he says it, though, comes across as if the guys are straight it's, it's up comedic. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But, but it, go ahead. I want to put that out there. Go yeah, ahead. it comes across as if the guy just wants to be a slave master and just do horrific stuff to his wife and everything. You know, that is what it comes across. I mean, yeah, if you don't get that, it's kind of humor That's in it. it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I had to send that to you because, like, dude, when I was watching that shit, dude, I was fucking crying, man. That boy Jesse is trying to make y'all mad as fuck. He's trying to get the most amount of feminists mad as possible in the shortest amount of time. That shit yeah. is hilarious. Anyway, that's what you sound like, Vince. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah, not, right. that's yeah. not good. Yeah, look, I'm letting <laughs> you know, man. Throw some more comedy in there, or else it comes off really off-putting. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But, you, but when you throw the comedy in there, it's because think about it, she can laugh at it because she's like, okay, obviously he doesn't mean literally a slave, but he's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's so very hard to like. The only thing I can compare it to is my relationship with Feline. We are on on such a great understanding where there is no battle between us. She knows that she can trust my intelligence and I know I can trust her intelligence, but it's still, you know, I'm still the man and she's still the woman. Do you know what I mean? Like there is a, I don't know how to explain this simply. You know what I mean? It's very hard. Well, you know, a lot of women object objections that I hear, mm, excuse me. Uh, ooh, it's just so good when it, when it hits your lips. Uh, a lot of objections that I hear from women are that they don't want to submit to a weak man, right? Yeah. You know what solves that? You pick the right man. Yeah. Pick a man that you trust. Yeah. Then you could submit to him and have faith that he won't be a tyrant when you yeah. give him the power. You yeah. choose a man that's not a tyrant, you know? Yeah. A just Someone man. Someone like me, for example. Yeah. A just man. <laughs> right? A just man. Would you say, uh, before we end this video, would you, what would you say if you could define a real man? What would be the quali uh, qualities about that man? Like in, 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 in words, like what qualities would that man have outside of strong? Okay, we got strong, right? Strong man. I mean, not necessarily physically. You're not going to like this answer, man. Okay, give it. Because cause we're not talking about as it relates to society, right? Yeah. We mean like what's really a man yeah. minus... You know what separates men from women? What really separates us? Obviously, besides the strength, the ability to enact violence, period. The, the, the ability to be violent against somebody when it's necessary and sleep like a fucking baby. 
and also to be able to go kamikaze in that violence if need be, right? Like, I mean, that's the difference. Women, they're like, oh no, blood, I don't want to. Nope. Go it's kamikaze. I, I can kill a thousand men. If you mean necessary. off? Yeah, you can off. Them. Excuse me, excuse me, my bad. No, but but you know, I mean, like, yeah. you know, if we're if we're at war, we're yeah. at war. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's like war is war. It's like that's why it's like, listen, the average person cannot even comprehend what the mindset of a man is like in the midst of a battlefield. Like, you just don't get it. And you don't that, get it. You don't. And isn't that because, in a way, a man is is designed to 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 do that? Yeah. at some point you know what i mean like die for his woman or you whatever believe in evolution yeah we evolve to do it whatever you believe in yeah that's that's why we are just like that much okay. more fierce we we think about it, we had to protect us from bears yeah right? if you believe like, man this this body right here right? i'm not nothing compared to a bear i'm not yeah. nothing compared but we had to protect the whole species from bears lions tigers mammoths whatever yeah right yeah wolves yeah we have to be we have to be able to protect the kids and you yeah that's why we have the ability to to get violent yeah severely violent yeah that's what separate that's what makes a real man to me that's right okay outside it's unfortunate, of, but it is what it is you know outside what I mean? of violence what 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 else would you say is a quality of a real man not a beta I don't would, know. I don't. I don't really use those words. Like I don't use okay. the word beta like that. So I, yeah, okay. I would you say that a real man would be just? But you know, just or stand up for just cause. I don't know, right? Because that because that's that's subjective. Justice is subjective. Is it though? If if I think if I think think about it. If I think a man is going to do something to my family, but he's never said it, right? Okay. Now, you understand? Okay, give, let me give you another right. example then. Um, when, well, think about, when do I take that risk, right? Oh, let me wait till he does something, right? I don't know, right? Okay. So. Okay, so, but you, you, you're minding your own business. You're walking outside and somebody is graping, trying to grape a woman. Will a real man try to stop that or... Will he just walk walk past that? <laughs> you mean outside on the street? <laughs> yeah, you're walking, minding your own business. You're seeing a dirt bag graping, Bro. trying to grape a woman. Would you, as a real man, just say, "Oh, that's not my business"? You know what I mean? Are you asking me this, Vince? Well, I have to see what qualities a man has, a real man. Vince, Vince. Vince, this is America, okay? All right. Yes. Go to New York. Ask a New Yorker that question. What do you think they're going to say? I don't know. These motherfuckers hear people getting great outside their window every goddamn night when they go to sleep. Yeah, but I'm that's... I'm dead serious. This is a joke that comedians tell all the time in New York. Like, you know you're a New Yorker? Like, like they say, like, look, if you're from the middle of the country, there's a difference between a New Yorker and the middle of the country. If, a, if a, somebody from the middle of the country hears somebody screaming outside their window, they're going to look outside. They're going to go to the window, look outside, call the police. If a New Yorker hears that, they're going to go to the window, look outside, and close that motherfucker and go back to fucking sleep. Yeah, but I'm go talking about... Go out there about... if you want to. Go out there if you want to. You're going to you gonna be the nigga getting great. <laughs> yeah, but I'm talking about, you know, how, how it should be, not how it is. I, I don't believe that that would ever happen in public, okay? So... But, uh, yeah, there are situations... Not out in, here. Like, in European, in European yeah, countries. Because no, you guys don't have guns. Somebody would get shot doing some shit like that out here. Are you serious? Yeah, but... but A man would get shot quick doing some shit like that out here. Okay, but I think a man... Everybody got pistols. A man walking outside seeing a woman getting graped. A real man... If I didn't have a pistol, if I didn't have yeah. a pistol, I wouldn't do nothing. No, I would need a pistol to do something. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Because he probably has but, a pistol. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but right. Now what? Now what? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do something to him. What if he turns around and shoots you? Then what you do? All you did was take another life. Now you can't do nothing. And your kids lost a father and your wife don't all oh, because you wanted to be a good nigga. Go ahead, Vince. Yeah, but what I'm saying. If, if you ain't got a gun, but yeah, aren't, I suggest you back up. Aren't you gonna get karma for for not interfering? Karma? Yeah. I'm not graping nobody. I know. Why am I gonna get karma? I know, but I'm not doing shit. 
but by association of not doing anything. And if you do so, and if you try to help her, you're gonna get instant karma and get two bullets in the head. Well, yeah, instant karma. Well, that's maybe this is not, the American way. Maybe I'm that's not, saying, not gonna I'm happen. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying this is the environment that's out here. Yeah, very rare. Like I said, that's not a realistic occurrence. Somebody just being great on the street. All right, because women have pistols too out here. Yeah, you try to ra- you try to rape yeah. a woman, you get shot. She'll yeah. You think these you think these chicks are to, are to be playing with out here? Okay, no. you're not to go deep into this, but uh, okay, but okay, so uh, but but I'm saying yeah. that out here, yeah, people mind their own business, yeah. and Pepsi Man and other people can attest to that. I'm not saying that if like if my somebody that I knew or or if, like something like come on now, but I'm saying that if you see a situation where you don't know what's going on, you come out and you see a man and a woman tussling. Just saying, like, if you don't uh, have a pistol, I get, I get it. This is America. Okay. All right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bazam. Bazam.